Hello, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we are gonna, going to be exploring the chicken coop here at Wilder Ranch, and our farm animal volunteer, Sunny, is going to be showing us into the coop and talking a little bit about what it takes to take care of our chickens here and also introduce you to some of the chickens we have here at Wilder. So I hope you enjoy. Hi, we are in a chicken coop here at Wilder and as you see there's only one rooster. His name is Bertie and he's a Rhode Island Red. The reason why you only have one rooster in each coop is because roosters tend to fight and so he has there's only one male and the rest are all females and they get along very well and um, next to the rooster you see this black and white and has feathers on his feet that's a silver lace wine adult this is a coochie also with feathery feet the red one over there following the rooster is actually a red, Rhode Island red. It's the female of this of the same breed of Bertie. Um, over here at the entrance of the inside coop, it's a Sumatra. There are only 50 in America. And she was donated and we took it so she can have a good life here at Wilder and it's been a very good educational aspect for the visitor and the children to see a new a new chicken kind of a new world chicken versus the old world these chickens are also mostly old English hens Again, very sturdy, very healthy, very prone to go through the winter, cold and wild and hot in the summer with no problems. The white one with you see the comb is turned down on the, a little bit on the left and she's pruning right now. That's a uh, leghorn. Leghorn have a very specific um gate number one and number two you see her her um yeah this is leggy or see her comb being kind of on the side and that's a very specific characteristic of a leghorn leghorn a very good chicken because those are the one that produce the white eggs in big factories and in chickens for people in farms this black one this one with a darker head and light color she is a buckeye buckeye doesn't have a, a comb very good breed very quiet most of these chickens are very uh, tame that's the nature um, the one over here that's kind of yellowish, that's moving away, this is an Araucana, American Argentina breed. And also they make blue eggs, green eggs, and again, very gentle, very easy going, and very sturdy. While they were very smart, by getting a breed that will go through this the season without needing a vet or a caretaker well they had the caretaker but health wise those animals were really really living long life producing eggs having chicks and also producing meat for the family and this is an astrolabe this black one she has no feather on the feet also a very sturdy one of the sturdier chicken i ever met and a lot of the people that have little farms they have astrolabes because of their longevity health wise 
and their personality. Most of them get along very, very good. The rooster has been hand raised and he never attacks. I pick him up once or twice a month and I, and I cut the spurs. I file the spurs. He doesn't like me to, to, to pick him up, but as soon as I have it in my hands, I hold it like this. I hold it like this, and he sits right here. I wear get, uh, protection just in case. And all this year that I've been taking care of his spurs, never once he picked me or tried to bite, and I just file and make it soft so he doesn't hurt himself. He's a very gentle animal. And inside there's a nesting boxes. And where they sleep, they roost when they sleep on a special ladder. We can go and see that. Oh, here we are in the area called the nesting box area. And this is our operation area for the chicken coop. But in here, it's where they come to rest. And here, where they, um, those are nesting boxes. In each, ne in each nesting boxes, there's a golf ball. And in here, there's an egg. So, <clears throat> The reason why I do that, when I was a UC Davis, one of the professors said that taking a, a, an egg away from the chicken, it's fine. However, sometimes they have this maternal instinct, they want to sit on it. So he said, put a golf ball in there, and sometimes they sit there and they're happy. And we remove the eggs because sometimes the chicken will break it. A broken egg is a bad, bad problem because they realize that the egg tastes good and the other chickens will learn. It's called a learned behavior. The farmer usually kills the chicken when they do that because his income is cut down. We don't do that here because we remove, we remove the eggs. The eggs are taken by the volunteer every morning because they come in and they work for hours around the area to do the AM uh, cleaning and taking care of the animal and feeding and this is their reward they take home the eggs um, <clears throat> the nesting boxes <clears throat> are very important because you see this is Louise her sister Thelma is outside she loves to sit in there she's a silver lace why not dog? And underneath, there's not an egg. Come on, Louise. There's a golf ball. She loves to sit on a golf ball. Come on, Louise. Her sister's Thelma. And she's a silver lace why not dog. Feather on the feet. All the English hands. And now we put it back again. Good girl, sit on your little golf ball. Good girl. I removed the eggs and I put it in an uh, egg carton. Over here, this is called a rooster because they sleep up here. This is where they sleep. When you come at dusk, everybody is standing up here. This is also a little rooster. Let's see, this is. This is Bertie, the rooster, and they come and sit up here to sleep. And then they lie down here on the hot days. They like the corner where it's dark and shadow and cool. The reason why we have shavings, it's to protect their feet. There's a lot of little problem if you don't have shavings on the ground and can cause some injury to the feet and that's important they are healthy to walk this thing is called an automatic feeder and this is a lot most of it is protein for the ends it's called geek pellet 
and every morning they get a can of um, co corn it's actually crushed corn but we don't want to give crushed corn every day because they will make it too fat and unhealthy and will not produce eggs but they supplement with this with the peat pellets so they love it they can eat whenever they want this is a standing high so that the mice and rats cannot get to it and if they try to get on top so we just to protect them but it's this is it and now we can go and look at the little coop can we and here we are in the little coop the little coop has only five hands and this coop it's for education we let the animal out every morning and when we have a group of children or, or visitor that wants to learn more about the chicken a volunteer will come pick up a chicken and they can pet it they can do they ask lots of questions and they can learn their behavior because there's only five over there you don't know which is which but here you know exactly which is which, what do they do, why do they do that. And they have a little hen house. And let's go in and visit with them. They're very social because they go out every day. This is a little hen house that we built here Wilder. The nesting boxes are in here. And this is two eggs with a golf ball. So if you look at the difference between those two eggs, you see the size Now if you look over there, there's a itty bitty little hen, and that's, that is buttercup. And buttercup, it's a Muesler Belgian hen. She is a tiny little thing, and she makes these eggs. Versa a regular and she's also a banty. Banties are the smallest chickens in the chicken family. A banty is a small little. About Buttercup, you ask about the, the cows. Well, she runs the rooster. She is in charge. She's tiny and mighty and strong and bites. So don't touch her. <laughs> She's so adorable. Next to it, the white with the black tail and the, and the polka dot neck is Goosey. Goosey is a Delaware. Also very good hands, very uh, egg producing, incredible gentle. Next to it is a Rhode Island Red and that's Henna. Next to it, it's Amelia. It's an Andalusa with the with the gray and and dark neck, and over here, black and white is a is a she is a her name is Abigail, and she is an Italian. Uh, what's her name? I forgot. And all five go out every day meet the people the doors 
Some food system. This is the cracked corn, and this is the uh, geek pellets. The, <laughs> the food that we give to the cows, also we give to the chicken. They like grapes, soft melon, and cherry without the stone, and little salad, little greens. And this is the little coop. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us today as we explore the chicken coop and thank you to our wonderful farm animal uh, coordinator Sunny and all of the volunteers that come out here day after day to uh, take care of our animals and it's so important to bring the history to life when people come and visit the park to see this and to expose school groups to uh, what life would have been like on a farm. And also it serves another purpose in kind of the way of a community garden where families that may not have um, the room or the resources to have their own farm animals at home um, can come in here and experience hands-on what life uh, on a ranch is really like, doing that hard work for themselves and also getting the benefits, taking home the eggs and experiencing that very connection to our land and our food and the animals that have co-evolved with us and it's just a really special thing and we're just so grateful to all of our volunteers and staff who can make this happen and we hope that as you visit the park you can also get a chance to meet some of our beloved farm animals too thank you so much for joining us and have a good rest of your day